Me, 25 male with my wife. 23 female. She informs me a sister's wedding. She had slept with the best man. The time frame is important here. We had been married for three years. We were together as a couple for two years before that. So we've been together for about five years. Two weekends ago, her sister got married, and of course, my wife was in the wedding party. So as you would expect, she spent the two weeks prior to the wedding helping her sister get everything ready. No big deal at all. She kept me informed and I knew this was going to happen. She took that Wednesday through Friday off of work to help her and in fact stayed with her three days. I certainly know her sister. But I barely know the guy who is now my brother-in-law. In fact, only met him a few times, but he seems nice enough. I show up Saturday morning a few hours before the ceremony in hopes of stealing just a few minutes to see her. Not wanting to intrude on the day since I know she is busy, but I hadn't seen her since Tuesday. She sees me outside of her parents' house and sends her brother out to tell me that she will come out and see me at the car, which I thought was odd, but whatever. She finally comes out and sits in the seat next to me and gives me a kiss, but instead of acting happy to see me or whatever, she tells me that she has to talk to me and she doesn't want it to ruin her sister's day. She informs me that at the reception, if I still want to go, I might hear some things about the best man in her, and she didn't want it to be awkward or weird. I just kind of sat there stunned. She said that about four years ago, she had a fling with him, and that it didn't mean anything, but she was aware that by nature, I'm somewhat jealous she wanted me to know in advance so that if I heard something that I wouldn't be surprised. Again, I kind of just sat there. This was not how I thought my morning would go. But I told her I appreciated knowing it and that it certainly wasn't a big deal now. She went back in the house, and I went to eat lunch. And decided to meet her at the church. As I'm eating, I'm reading my phone. It dawns on me. She said she had a fling with him four years ago, and we've been together five. My first reaction. Was to blow it off and think that she just told me the wrong time. But the more I thought about it, the more I started to remember about a year and a half of us being together. She had a phase where she was really sketchy about her behavior. Wasn't available when she normally was. And went on two weekend camping trips. That were with friends from work. Of course, I'm a little knotted up over this, but I know I have a long day ahead of me. I go to the wedding and sit there watching everything. After the wedding. They have a line that you walk by and congratulate the bride and groom, and the wedding party is standing in line as well. My wife is standing with some other guy. I don't know him at all. But the best man was there, and I just went down the line and acted like no big deal. Get to the reception, and it takes forever for them to come because of photos. She finally gets there and sits with me. I decided not to say anything as I didn't want. To distract from the day. But instead of just letting it go, she then tells me that each of the groomsmen and bridesmaids are going to dance and that she is going to be dancing with him. I ask why when she was not his partner for the party, and she said that the maid of honor and her partner were actually married and wanted to dance with each other. At this point, I'm a little more than perturbed, but I try and not let it show. Thankfully, I was smart enough to not drink because I freely admit I'm an angry drunk so I know when not to even partake. She talks to everyone around her, and then the dance comes and he comes over and extends his arm and she gets up. I try not to watch, and in fact, I make it a point not to. She comes back with them in tow, and they are joking like the best of friends. She decides that it would be a good idea to introduce us and while I didn't say to F off like I wanted to, my greeting to him was probably less than cordial but it did not deter him from sitting and talking with her for a few minutes. The more they sat and talked and reminisced about old times and places, the matter I got. Eventually, I got up and went to the bathroom, and when I came back, he was gone. She decided to tell me that she thought I was rude, which was not what I was all about hearing at the moment. 
I told her that this wasn't the time or place to talk about it, but rest assured we would talk later. She sat there and then said that she was going to change clothes. And as soon as she got back, she was telling her sister that we were leaving because I had ruined her day, but she didn't want me to ruin her sister's day as well. I told her that I was perfectly capable of not being a bother to her or her sister the rest of the day, and then I did not want to be the cause of any drama. So I would prefer just to stay. She went and changed clothes and then came back all in a huff. Now, I understand I have not said a word to her. I even shook the other guy's hand. I guess I just looked miserable so that is what she was basing this off of. She was adamant about not staying. And so I said that if she really wanted to go, we could. But if she would rather stay, I would be happy to stay or if she would like since I came on my own car, I would leave so she could stay. She at first said that she would stay, but then said if I couldn't act any better, I should leave. I asked how I was acting, and she said it was obvious I was trying to be like a silverback gorilla wanting to fight. I didn't know whether to laugh in her face or be offended. I went back in and sat down while she mingled with the other guests. I talked with her brother for a while, but then ultimately ended up back at our table talking with her grandma. We leave at the same time, and arrived home just before she did. I was sitting in the living room waiting on her when she came in and did not beat around the bush. I simply asked her to retell me the story about this other guy, and she said it word for word like before. After sitting and looking at her for a time, I just said, are you sure about the time frame? And she said she was. I then reminded her that we had been together for five years, so this fling was well over a year into our being together. What happened next? I can't really put into words. Instead of being flustered or denying or anything, she simply said, I know. So I asked her to explain, and she tells me that they worked together and that it was just a physical thing, and she felt like we weren't in a great place at the time. And that she had never had any feelings for him and never had any real intentions of leaving me. She was just having some fun for a few weekends. She said that. It was probably a mistake on her part. To tell me now, but she didn't want me to get blindsided. I did not take this the way she thought I would, I guess. We had a very large argument and ended when she told me. I was being a child about all of this. That we were married and this happened way before that and our life together now has nothing to do with him or that time. Well, two things. One, I adamantly disagree about this having no bearing on us. She freaking cheated on me and doesn't even have the god dang decency to feel guilty about it. 2. I hate being told I am childish when I get upset over something. It pisses me off to no end because that is her way of acting superior to me. I told her I needed time to think, and she told me there was nothing to think about. We loved each other, and this didn't change anything. That was two weeks ago, and I am still not over it. She has been trying the past few days to get me to talk to her but I admit that for whatever reason, I'm not viewing her the same as I did before this. Part of me is like that this is stupid, it happened a few years ago, and we are married now, and there hasn't been any problems at all. But then part of me is like, I just found out she cheated on me, and it hurts like a mother, and what makes it worse is that instead of trying to understand how I feel, She's trying to guilt me into just not even thinking about it. I don't know what to do. Let's get a quick comment in from the community before we move on with an update. OS Iris 0413 says she needs to quit her crap, like yesterday or four years ago, but whatever. She's already apparently made up. Her mind that what happened was no big deal because she has come. To terms with what happened she doesn't believe her husband has the right to be upset at her actions. She was being generous to even tell. Her husband at this point, and because it happened four years ago, it's water under the bridge now. God. Why is he being so selfish? Being upset when he finds out for the first time that his wife cheated on him. 
it's not like he needs time to process things, that his feelings are what is important here. She's already decided that she should be forgiven with no consequences, and he's clearly a selfish jerk for denying her that. Up. I would be seriously concerned that your wife doesn't seem to have the ability to show empathy towards her supposed life partner. What she did was crappy, but she's making a massive effort to deflect blame here and try to make you feel bad for not forgiving her instantly. This is ludicrous, she's had a long time to think about her actions, so clearly she's found ways to rationalize and mitigate her actions. That's an effed up way of thinking. I couldn't go to the police and say. Yeah. I killed someone, but it was like five years ago, and I haven't killed anyone since. I was at a really bad time in my life, things are totally different now. I'm not saying that cheating is as bad as murder, but the parallel I am making is that you have every bit the right to be just as upset now as you would have been when it happened. She is afraid of that truth and is making up BS excuses to herself as to why that isn't the case. Don't buy it. All right. Let's see what the opt is in the update. First, I want to clarify something from my first post that I already did not spell out very well. It doesn't have any real bearing on anything, but for some reason, it bugs me that I made this part sort of murky. The maid of honor, not my wife, was married to the groomsman who my wife walked down the aisle with. There were some people who felt my wife was trying to arrange the dance, but I do know for a fact this part was legit. However, it doesn't mean she didn't try and offer to let them dance or any other form of manipulation, but I just wanted to try and clear that part up. A little. I'm here because I have gotten honest to God over 40 requests for an update since last week. Thank you for your guys' concern on this. And I wish I had some really ballsy statement to make about how I stood tall. And kicked her to the curb, but sadly, this is just not what happened. To be blunt, I'm in limbo. There have been developments, but all they have done is make it harder for me to decide. Last week, I was mostly angry. Then as the weekend progressed, I became mostly sad. I want to be able to hate her and flip that switch that tells me I'm being walked on and I am a sucker, but it's just very hard for me to do that because I still love her. And this is ripping me apart. Here's what has happened of any consequence. She finally came to the realization that I was not going to just get over this. This then brought her to the realization that I might want out of the marriage. This then brought on a near nervous breakdown from her. Someone, hell a lot, from the first post stated that she would try and manipulate me like that, and believe me, I was taking those words to heart when I thought she was having crocodile tears. But it soon became apparent to me that she wasn't acting or faking. She was having a legitimate panic attack. This led her to an ER visit and that led to an overnight stay in the hospital. And then to new medications and a scheduled follow-up with her doctor for later next week. This brought her family into it, and that in turn led to long conversations all the way around. When we got home with her family in tow, I asked her what she wanted to do since there was a house full of people, and she said she wanted to be with her mom for a while. That was fine with me as I had no desire to hang around all day with her dad or sister, so I said I was going to finish up something at work and would be home later. Two hours after I get there, I get a text from her begging me to please come home and that she really needs me to talk with her. So I finished up what I was doing and head home. I'm greeted on my own front porch by her dad who asks if he can talk to me for a minute. My anger level was already somewhat high. I was ready to go to war if she had dumped a shit sack of lies on me with her dad. I mean, it's not like he and I are best friends and all, but I've never had a bad moment with him. I really wasn't going to be happy about being a bastard who broke his baby's heart. We sat on the deck chairs, and he freaking floored me with his opening salvo. I was expecting to hear anything, but what he said. He said that she told them what happened and that he Wanted to apologize to me because he said that he felt like he did a really crappy job as a parent and that his mindset that she had it was really of creation of her mother's and that while he loved both of them, he said they were wrong. 
and he had told his wife years ago that telling the girls that whatever happens before marriage doesn't count was a horrible idea and value system to install on them. He then said that he wasn't there to stand up for what his daughter did, but he just wanted me to be aware that what she was saying and how she was acting was simply because she honestly believed that being married was an entirely different life and that they, mom and dad, had romanticized marriage to the point that she wasn't understanding real life. Basically, he was kind of throwing his wife under the bus, but again, this is not what I was expecting at all. We shook hands he said that no matter what. I decided, he still thought very highly of me, which honestly made me feel really good for that moment. I then went inside, and my wife is curled up in a ball in her mom's lap. And you can tell she had been crying the entire time I've been gone. Mom gets up and comes and hugs me and tells me. She is sorry and that she loves me and she is praying that we can work this out. My wife has laid out. On the couch at this point. Her mom and dad leave, and she sits there looking at me and crying. Okay. This is where I'm going to piss everybody off and just tell you that I couldn't take it. I went to her and we hugged for. A long time with her telling me over and over how sorry she was. Hey. I know it was the weak thing to do, but again, I have to say in my defense that just before this incident occurred, I loved her with all of my heart, would have done anything to not see her in pain. Whatever she had done, I still didn't want to see her like that. Look, it's very possible that she was putting on an Oscar-worthy acting job but I don't honestly think so. She really seemed broken at that point in time. After a while, when she calmed down, I asked her what she wanted me to come home and talk to me about. And she said, she wanted to get everything. Out in the open, so I didn't feel like. I was being lied to or manipulated. She said she wanted me to ask her questions, and I wish I had written down a list, but I came over the few off the top of my head. She was brutally honest with me, and some of the questions I asked I probably shouldn't have because now the mental image is stuck in there, but honestly, it was there anyway. I just now have confirmation. First, I asked for dates or, at the very least, approximate dates. I didn't tell her about the engagement concern I, had because I didn't want her to change stories, and she remembered exactly when they occurred. Fortunately, this happened a little earlier in our relationship than she told me initially, and so we were not engaged when this happened. I can't tell you what a relief that was because I became physically ill when I thought about that when someone said it. In my last post. Second, I asked how many times. She went overboard with this because instead of just telling me how many different dates she decided to. Tell me how many times there was penetration. She wasn't doing it to be mean. She honestly thought that is what I wanted to know. This part of the conversation did not help me any at all. And in fact, almost broke me down. In truth, it wasn't that often, and in fact, there were really only three different days that happened on but there were several times during those three days. Then came the hard part. Why did she do it? Okay. Again, I'm not. The most manly of men, I am ashamed to admit this, but I. Couldn't get this out without starting to cry. I asked why wasn't I good enough? Why him? Why does she not just leave me? It was her turn to hold me because at this point, everything came rushing at me. Her telling me, me having to watch them laugh with each other, her now telling me how many times they did it and where they did it. She talked during this, but too. This moment, I have no idea what she said. I was too upset and honestly, nothing she was going to say was going to make a bit of difference anyway. But after I composed myself, simply told her that the betrayal was horrible, but honestly her response to me when I found out was just as bad if not worse. She agreed with me and she apologized for calling me immature. She said that she honestly believed that it wouldn't matter to me now because we were married. When she said this, my blood started to boil again. I started to say something about it, but she jumped in and said that after talking with her parents, she now sees that this was very wrong of her, and that cheating is cheating, but she still feels like that our happiness that we have shared since being married should count for something. 
I then replied that I kind of felt like that happiness was built on a lot this led to another breakdown on her part and almost another er visit. But between Adivan and having her breathe into a paper sack, we got her calmed down. I let her sleep the rest of the night feeling like emotionally. We were both tired, but come Sunday, we were talking again. By this time, wasn't as sympathetic as I had been when we got home from the Ur. I told her that I thought her introducing him to me was shitty. Me having to watch her dance with him was extra shitty. And the fact that she only told me because she was going to get caught was an elite level of shitty, which then. I demanded to know why did she think. I would find out and how many of the freaking people at the wedding knew besides me? Well, obviously the guy knew, but then his best friend in the world also knew. Did I mention that effort is now my brother-in-law, which then led to her sister finding out, and she was afraid her sister was going to be the one to tell me. I asked how often she sees this guy, and she said that the wedding is the first time she has seen him in three years. Then I lost my shit. And asked her if she effed him during any of the lead up to the wedding. She got all pissy about it. Acting like she wouldn't f anyone because she was married and I just lost my shit and had to leave for a while because once again, I felt like she was living on married planet and some such shit, and the world there is a different place than for the rest of us. I finally cooled off enough to come home and try and be civil about things. She finally asked me what she could do to help me get past all of this. Which may not sound like much, but it was the first time she offered to help me really. So it was at least a nice gesture. I told her I wasn't sure what she could do or if there was anything either of us could do and that I may never get over this. She said that she wanted to help because she didn't want to see me in pain and that over the years, she hopes I'll be able to judge her based on who she is now. She would do anything I wanted to work this out. She also wanted to be sure that I knew that she has been 100% faithful since we've been married and would never cheat on her vows. I sarcastically thanked her, which I admit wasn't the most mature thing to do. I then asked for a moratorium from further talks till at least Wednesday. I have two projects I have to get done, and honestly, I'm just exhausted and I have no effing clue what I want to do. I shift between periods of red-hot anger where I want to kick her out and then periods of deep emotional turmoil or I just want to forget this and move forward with her. Yes. I know this is. Not what anyone wanted to hear, and no, I'm not proud to type it, but it is what it is at the moment.